Hey, what's up ladies and gents, I'm Woozle Gaming, and today I will be showing you how to unlock the star circle function. Once you hit level 50 on your path skill, you automatically unlock the quest that will take you to the Jewel Arena NPC to begin the quest line. And just to let you all know in advance, this quest is quite long and tedious and you'll also be needing a fair few supplies as well. I will briefly go over each stage as there are five main parts to this storyline just so that you are aware of what you'll be needing for each part and to hopefully finish off the quest line just that tiny bit faster. So to start things off, you'll need to clear a heroic raid and to slay a guild hunt boss. Our guild organized a quick Fort Desolation heroic run for this and the slaying of the guild hunt boss was where the real pain kind of begun. You have to make sure that your guild has the tag on the boss and you also have to actually deal a little bit of damage for it to count towards the quest. As you can imagine, Guilds will likely be keeping these spawn camped for a few days, so try and stand at one of the boss areas before it spawns to tag it as soon as possible. Also, the guild lords do not count as we did try, so don't actually think that you'll be getting it done with a guild lord. So going into part 2, it is a fairly simple questing process where you talk to an NPC, you kill some mobs until you get the items that you need and then you just head back afterwards. You have to do this for 3 different types of mobs and it takes approximately 5 minutes or so. Then you go into part 3. You have to hand over 2 golem cast irons, which if you don't have, you can purchase those for 5 faction medals or 10k gold each and 20 of each blue, red and yellow essences. Once you've given away your lovely supplies, you will now have to collect 20 crystal nucleus, which is obtained by mining the crystals on the faction island. Now mining the normal crystals is as good as the shiny ones after I've tested it myself and I never got more than one or two per mine. I did about six or so shiny ones and then I got all the rest from the normal ones. This whole part takes approximately five minutes as well, assuming that you do have the irons and essences available. Now it's stage four time. You have to kill one of each type of elemental lord, so wind, fire, water and earth. And the sneaky thing here is it has to be torture difficulty or above. So you can't kill hards, normals or easies or any of those ones. It has to be tortures, nightmares, hells. And if you can kill above that, then you are just insane. But the big reason to why this is a little bit annoying is that there are only so many spawns available every 30 minutes and you will have to be competing with others, especially at peak times of the day, which for most people will probably be in the evenings, over the next few days. Now there is also a bug currently in the game as of right now, where most player screens on the Earth Elemental are freezing up. Now you can still move your character and use your skills, you can hear the actual game it's itself as well, so make sure you turn your volume up. You just can't see anything. So just make sure that you just keep going until you either hear the other elemental die or until you hear yourself die, then you reload the game. For those of you watching this video a little bit later on in time, hopefully you won't be having this issue. After you've killed one of each though, you are on the last stretch. So finally, stage five is the last one, which is just a simple group quest. But it's not really that simple because there's a slight problem. It requires you to recruit five players to even start the event and it's on a timer. So you go into the actual event, you're on a 10 minute timer, then you have to recruit four other people. So once you manage to finally recruit five players, you can then finish off the quest. The quest itself is just, you know, you kill some monsters and it is soloable. But uh, you do need to get the five people to help you activate the quest to begin with. So keep that one in mind. Have some friends on the side that are willing to help you out. You then grab the astrology instrument, you run it, and voila, you've unlocked the star circle. So to activate your first star, you will be needing to have 10 flowers of Tyrannus, which will slow a lot of your progress down, especially if you have no define items as of right now, or you're still working on them. But I would highly suggest you using it on the star circle first before the defines, as this is going to be a much bigger upgrade for your character, especially in the long run. So I really hope that you either have them already available for you to use now, or that you are kind of close to getting enough to the 10 mark, so you can actually unlock the star circle function for yourself to use. And not just that, this is going to improve both your character and your raid team success in the future. Now I've only just unlocked this myself so I will be having to go through all of the actual setting up process and I will make a guide on the best setting up process that I can possibly find even though I'm pretty sure there's only one way for us to go as of right now but things will be changing in the near future. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you would like to see more videos coming your way on some Crusaders of Light stuff or just anything in general don't forget to like and I'll see you all then. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a lovely day. See you guys.